So I think that it's fine to uh, engage yourself in reading what's going on and in supporting people who are more for Scientology as it should be and as it originally was. And it's, it's fine to, uh, certainly fine, to withdraw your support of what's going on currently. Don't allow yourself to get into one of these long reg cycles for a building that may empty your bank account and put you in debt that then may be misplanned like it was in, in the Portland Org building and have to be sold at a loss. And you can imagine how the, the parishioners who donated for that deal, knowing that their money that they donated probably took out a second mortgage on their house, maxed out their credit cards, went further and further into debt. Now that, that building is going to have to be sold. They're going to have to find another building, and they're going to sell it at a loss. Well, don't support those kind of activities. When people are calling you at all hours of the evening to reg you to buy more sets of basics to donate to a library, realize, please, that many of those sets are not being solicited by libraries, and oftentimes these things get arrive at the library. The library then puts them on sale and sells them for a dollar a piece, or even just throws them away or refuses them. A lot of these um, quote-unquote donation campaigns are uh, they're just useless, and they're done sort of for PR purposes or just for a stat, and they have nothing to do with really getting LRH's word out to people and making them available in repositories around the world, such as libraries, of which there are many. So the, the, one of the, the best ways that the average uh, Scientologist who's opened his or her eyes and kind of realized that something is not going the way it should have been going the, the best way that you can contribute to that aspect of this whole thing is just to quit supporting the current structure and the current regime. But secondly, and probably more importantly, is to continue your own study and keep absorbing LRH's tech, keep, you know, getting more source, and you can do that by studying, you can do it by uh, listening to lectures, you can do it by finding a field auditor and continuing up your bridge. In fact, someone just wrote me this morning asking for recommendations about uh, who we could go to for auditing. He's been off out of really out of Scientology since the 80s. He was mid-OT5, and now he's decided to get moving on the bridge again, so I referred him to an auditor, and he'll probably be moving again on the bridge. And this is after probably decades of thinking, well, his, his, uh, he could no longer support what was going on in the church. So anyway, he's, he's now got a, a terminal he can go to and, and get auditing and, and get moving on his bridge. And more and more you're going to see cropping up people sort of, you know, advertising services and auditing in the field and, you know, Scientology is not uh, supposed to be controlled by this corporate organization that is only interested in money. The whole idea is to get people audited and get them blowing charge off their case and going with the bridge and going free. And to that end, there's a, a new website that's been started. And what it is, is basically the, the endeavor is really to connect up all these little pockets of Scientologists and individual field practitioners and small groups here and there, kind of get them connected up and not so much organized in a hard um, dictatorial uh, organizational structure, but just getting people connected up because ARC... And communication flowing freely is what's going to, you know, kind of free up the theta and get, get things moving and get people moving on this whole adventure called Scientology. So what you can Google is independent Scientology community, and there you'll find, you know, success stories, wins, and testimonials. And that's really, uh, it's all based on kind of this whole, the real positive message of Scientology, which the whole point is to go up the bridge get the tech, get the wins, and so on. So that's the whole stress of what, of what these people are doing. And that is the future of Scientology. Now, who knows what's going to happen in, say, two years, the, the current head of, the, of Scientology, David Miscavige, is deposed, or he just gets taken down or gets embroiled in legal battles, and the church kind of implodes. Well, what's, what's going to happen? I can tell you one thing. The subject of Scientology is not going away. So a new organization will emerge. Um, 
my own personal feeling is I hope that the church does survive in an altered form with more sane policies and so on because there's a tremendous number of facilities, there's lots of orgs, organizations that exist, there's lots of staff. Great. But there's also probably an equal number of people who are no longer affiliated or will no longer affiliate themselves with the church who could also uh, basically the current church and the sort of affiliate, unaffiliated independent free zone movement and these other little groups that are here and there they could all sort of be hopefully and my and my my hope is that it would one day be reunited and it would just be known as Scientology um, there could be people who wanted to be part of the church and continue on that way there could be independent members who didn't want necessarily a church affiliation but see above any organizational structure you have the philosophy of Scientology and you have LRH's writings and his lectures and so on, that's senior to any, you know, organizational, uh, somewhat arbitrary structure, like of a church or an organization or something like that. So that's really about all that I had to say. I just wanted to uh, connect back to people and let them know that uh, things are moving forward on a lot of different fronts and there's a lot going on in the subject. And while you may be kind of off the, off the, um, the main lines of things, just know that a lot's happening to get Scientology back to the way that we all know that it has been and can be again. So that's about all I have to say, and I look forward to talking to you next time. Thanks a lot.